Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. I hope you had a good weekend. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for around Tuesday the 20th of July 2021 for all signs. So as always it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. So uh, remember these readings can last a few days longer than when they're released and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for the day, please. Message for the day. Motivation. So maybe someone needs motivation or someone's feeling motivated. Maybe some change in energy here or what you're focusing on. Um, these are the butterfly cards, butterfly oracle deck. Um, I like the fact that something is blossoming here through motivation, something is blooming. Let's see what else we get, please. What do we have for all signs? Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. What is the message people need to hear the most? Thank you. Perfect timing. So maybe uh, something's coming in which will require you to be motivated, to take action, to focus on something, potentially finish something here. Uh, there's divine time and divine orchestration with that card so it feels now is the time possibly i mean i'm getting finished something for some of you okay let's see what we have what do we have please angels spirits guides what is the message people need to hear the most What is the message people need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, so we have the chariot, the moon, two major arcana there, two of wands, two of swords, King of Wands in the immediate past. In the immediate future, we have the Four of Cups. The Tower is in supporting information, interestingly enough. Let's, yeah, I feel this is why you need to be motivated here. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. And we have the full new beginnings, taking a chance, taking a leap of faith. Um, something is about to look up here. Uh, and there's a definite energy of being motivated because the time is now. The time is now for some of you. There was somebody who was in their power who felt um, could be very successful as well. This is in the immediate past, male or female energy. This is the King of Wands energy. Can be seen as Leo, can be Aries, Sagittarius, or just the energy of that sign. Somebody who is very empowered, who felt in, in control of their life, who knew what they were working towards, grand visions, um, very successful. Um, just on top of their game somebody fell on top of their game here however something's happened something happened here um because in the current situation the moon energy represents uncertainty lack of clarity um not seeing the path forward clearly uh, not understanding how to overcome some kind of challenge here uh, because we have the chariot, which is generally a card of overcoming challenge, claiming a victory, eyes on the prize to success. However, in this environment, you don't see it, that it's clouded. Um, it's not fully clear to you how to overcome some kind of obstacle that you faced. Two of Wands, the foundation is somebody wants to make life choices, but they don't, they're not able to here in this situation. Life choices about their future. Um, they want to take the next steps towards a future path. It's almost kind of like somebody's wanting to manifest, uh, someone's wanting to manifest this new path because there's been some kind of knock here. Um, somebody has been 
significantly knocked uh, in their life and they're wanting to get back up and win um, claim a victory but it's not it's not clear the two of swords is feeling stuck um, can sometimes be about difficult decisions but in this energy it just feels like you don't see how to move forward you can't make a decision because everything is uncertain right now and someone is feeling stuck they want to they want to move forward but for some reason and it feels to do with external factors that are preventing them from doing that however in the immediate future you are being told something is coming your way um, now the four of cups obviously these cards have a number of meanings the four of cups can be about apathy um, feeling stuck in your own energy it's, a, it's an energy of, of a bit of discontent a bit sometimes you know you can see this energy when if somebody isn't happy in their job they're they're feeling discontent and there is potential around them to move forward there is some kind of opportunity to take action towards however the discontent whatever has built up over a period of time they just don't do it and it's that kind of energy of, of um, how our energy can keep us stuck and help me make us sabotage sometimes. Um, it's given to you by God, the divine, the universe. There's op some kind of opportunity coming in. Um, it's the divine nudge, the four of cups. You're being told now is the time to take action. And I feel it's to do with your immediate future. So certainly, you know, with it being a daily reading, next day or two, there is a need to take action. Because in your supporting information, the universe is intervening. Um, the tower is life-changing energy so again it's interesting that the king of wands holds the wand here um, somebody's wanting to take steps you know I'm definitely getting to take steps with the wands energy but can't and then we have this um, life-changing opportunity that promises growth it's exciting electric uh, promises it's the beginnings of a successful journey and again, it promises success at the end of this, should you keep on tending it, taking action towards it. Um, this is a, a door that's opening for you and it's being opened to you by the universe. Again, the divine nudge. Now is the time to take action because there's some life-changing opportunity. It feels like whatever this stuck energy is, you're being released from it here. And there is some level of divine intervention. Again, the moon can be a card of hidden blessings. Even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. And is working with you in tandem. Uh, guiding you through your intuition. And again, two very intuitive energies that are linking to some kind of victory over some kind of challenge here. And in your environment, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So there's definitely an energy of greater wealth, security, uh, stability. So for some of you, there could be some opportunity here for you to take action, start your own business potentially, because the environment is, is right for the picking, so to speak. It's the time of great success. So certainly any business ventures that you are thinking about, starting up some kind of business venture, or even some kind of hobby that could potentially turn into a business. I mean, there's inspiration here. There's a lot of inspiration. It's divinely guided to you. So some of you could be getting some significant thought patterns, some significant um, inspiration, and it's a door to take action towards, get something started here. Um, now, for some of you, yes, it can be in terms of job opportunities, career opportunities, business ventures, uh, but it promises great success here. So very, very beautiful energy. And with that, the page of wands, you see the wands energy is so, uh, such synchronicity with the wands. So the page of wands generally represents the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. It's very early stages. Uh, it can be in the form of a message, some news coming to you. And it's good news. This is a card of good news, exciting news. Um, the Page of Wands, like I said, because it's an action energy, some of you, you're being told if you're feeling inspired to start something, uh, start a sideline business or start a business venture, might, well, you might be looking for a conventional job, for example. You're being told to give something a go, you know? Now, obviously some of you won't resonate but there's definitely an energy of just give it a try give it a go you know um because we have that followed by the fool energy 
So either some news or you're being told to take action towards a new path here that promises greater abundance. It's divinely guided. There is divine intervention in this energy. Um, some kind of divine inspiration as well for some of you. But it's all to do with this powerful new beginning, new chapter that is opening for you. You're being guided towards a new pathway. Um, and it's a pathway that's meant for you. So it feels now is the time. There's something to do with timing. Um, be motivated. Take action. What has your, been, your intuition been telling you? What have you been thinking about starting or doing? Because now is the time to not let your energy block, uh, block the way forward. Um, because some of you, there's great success here. And certainly that's what the cards are saying. So... Let's pull a final card. Thank you. Yeah, we have monkey, inner child. Don't take life too seriously. I mean, it's hard sometimes, especially when we get the chariot energy because it's not, it's a significant obstacle. Um, you know, someone's been knocked down here, knocked off their throne it feels that kind of energy uh, so this is the journey to get back on top you know getting back on top of your game it feels that kind of energy and we have the fox yes we, we spoke about this in the reading shadow work there are no shadows without light of some of you look you know we've got the dark energy here and then we have a definitely beautiful light divine energy here um, very nice energy so something to do with perfect timing everybody it's it feels in this situation now is the time to really go within trust your intuition if you're feeling inspired to go in a particular direction contact somebody speak to somebody um, apply for something <laughs> you get what i'm saying here now is the time and i feel it's linked with abundance greater success in terms of money and career so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that and I will see you next time. Thank you.